I'll first of all show you the equipments that are required for doing bipolar transvertebral section of the prostate. Uh, first step would be to do a cystoscopic evaluation of the urethra, prostate and bladder neck. Cystoscope sheath, the bridge and a third degree lens. After cystoscopy, the meatus of the patient should be calibrated to 28 French size to permit the entry of the sheath. And then there are three platinum bougies to dilate the urethra of different sizes. 1, 2 and 3. Then this is the, the receptoscope sheath which is a continuous flow type of receptoscope sheath. If you can see here the channel okay. and this is the operator. This is the sheath which is to be introduced, uh, can be introduced either blindly or can be introduced over the visualizing operator. Then this is the uh, working element of the uh, bipolar system and this is the thumb action. This is a passive type because the thumb goes backwards and when it goes backwards the loop moves in and cutting. So this is a bipolar uh, loop. You have to keep on trolley uh, a spare set of bipolar loop. This bipolar, this device is the, the button electrode, this electrode tip, the tip in my left hand, mm. this is the button electrode, this is also called mushroom electrode, this is to coagulate and evaporate and vaporize the prostatic tissue, it's slightly different from uh, the cutting loop, right, this is the cutting loop and this is the ball electrode, also called mushroom electrode. So you have to keep a set of spare electrode, you have to also keep an autoclaved metallic uh, filter to gather the tissue chips, then there is to be an evacuator to empty the chips on the bladder. We will show the use of these equipments one by one and finally a catheter on the trolley which is a triple lumen catheter, triple lumen catheter about the size of about uh, 22 French, usually we use 22 French and then this is a unovac tube. So this is a set of equipment that you need to perform bipolar transvertebral section of the prostate gland.